Hello photography fans and welcome back to another lens vid review. Today we're taking a look at this Godox S60 Lite with a projection attachment. Let's see what it can do. Today we're looking at another light by Godox. We've been using Godox lights and other products for a while now and have been impressed by their quality construction and light output. The S60 is a day color focusing LED light with an interesting specialty attachment for creative lighting. In January of 2021, we reviewed the Godox ML60, which is another small daylight LED with great portability and accessories. The S60 is not as small, but it's geared for a different purpose. While you can use it in general lighting scenarios, the added projection attachment allows for lots of creative lighting control. In the kit, this light comes with a bracket, control unit, projection attachment, and different light shape and accessories. There are options of modifiers and focusing lenses available, so make sure you know what you're ordering. As we've already come to expect, Godox lights are very well made. The S60 comes in an all-metal fixture with a pretty simple tension bracket that you adjust with an included wrench. The body of the unit has an extra mounting hole on the other side in case you need to change the position of the bracket. Unlike the light's fixtures build that's pleasant to work with, the attachment accessory is questionable. It is a metal construction but the implementation and the general design choices don't feel very well thought out. As we will see in this review, it does the job. It is a simple accessory that doesn't require much, but it's just not the quality design that we had seen Godox consistently deliver in all of their other products that we had worked with. The ballast control unit that comes with the S60 is well made. It's a metallic enclosure with a simple to use interface and a small footprint. It comes with heavy duty cables with sturdy connectors. The power cable features a bright yellow Nutric connector. There's an integrated retractable steel cable on the top of the control unit. This allows to easily hang it on the light stand, but we would prefer a sturdier support mechanism that would keep the unit from swinging around, especially with a battery attached to the back. Having a battery option on this light makes it portable and versatile. The back of the control unit comes with a V-mount battery plate. When you connect the power cable with the battery in place, the unit cuts the power to the battery to avoid overheating. One of the prominent features of the S60 is focusing the light beam. The knob on the back of the unit controls the beam angle, changing from a 6 degree spot to a 55 degree floodlight. Inside the light enclosure, there's a fan to keep it from heating up. The fan is pretty quiet even close up, but in case you need silent operation, there is a silent mode that limits the light output to 50%. You know what the best thing about this light is? It can help you find the subscribe button. So click it and click the bell notification. To operate the light, Godox offers the optional RCA6 remote. This is a simple device that allows to change intensity and power the unit on and off. Using the app, you have more control of the light. Here you can quickly go from low to high output and control the effects. We've been using the Godox app to control all of the Godox lights that we have in the studio, like these ones behind me. And this app has been working great. The only improvement that we would suggest is customizing the interface for each one of the lights. Like this S60 is a daylight only light, but the interface has HSI controls and RGB effects active on the screen, even though the light doesn't have that functionality. The attachment features a specialty mount with a simple drop-in design and a top latch. There's a dedicated slot in the middle of the accessory to install different light shaping tools. Godox offers different gobos to shape the light. To install these, unscrew the adapter top and place the gobo inside, replacing the top. We feel that this operation could have been made a lot simpler. As is, the process isn't very quick and it's not really a one-handed operation. Once the gobo is in, slide the adapter into the slot while pulling back on the spring-loaded tab. Again, we feel that the implementation here isn't that great but it does the job. The effect is what's important here, and this accessory can give you lots of interesting effects by shaping the light. A similar accessory that can quickly shape the light beam is this iris that you install just like the gobo adapter. By turning the lever, you control the size of the light circle. This can be useful for lighting effects in videos. Another light shaping tool is a set of metal flags. These come with some handy rubber grips on the ends. There are four of them, and these allow to make interesting shapes like lines, rectangles, and even custom shapes. This process is kind of a guessing game, but the results are pretty spectacular. One more optional accessory available for this light is a set of mesh modifiers. These come in an organizer pouch, 
They offer two levels of light reduction. There are also half circles to partially reduce the light beam intensity and a gradient reduction from one end of the beam to the other. You can use these modifiers with or without the projection attachment. To install, just drop them into the light's front mount and secure with the latch. These can be stacked for an added effect. Another interesting optional accessory from Godox is a Bowen's mount adapter to connect this projection attachment to different lights. We tried this with our Godox AD400 flash and it works great. One light that this adapter didn't work with is the Godox SZ150R because the dome that covers the LED doesn't fit inside the adapter. The control unit features a small screen, four menu buttons, a jog wheel for intensity control and a parameter set button. The menu isn't very extensive and it is pretty intuitive. Here you can control the light's channel and group, ID and DMX settings. There is an effects button that accesses the 8 different lighting effects and a silent mode button to turn the fan off and on. We tested the S60's quality of light and intensity with our Siconic C800. Here are the results at both ends of the beam focus with and without the projection attachment and with a small soft box with a special drop-in mount to fit this light. In using this light, we found our 98 watt hour battery to last over 2 hours at 100% intensity. Even at full power, the light's body didn't get very hot, even though there's a warning label. The only part of the light that gets pretty hot is the glass front element, so be careful when handling the mesh modifiers. Here's a demonstration of the focusing feature of the S60. By turning the knob on the back of the light, you can change the light beam coverage from a soft flood light to a directed spotlight. Here's how the projection attachment accessory works in practice. It simply drops into the front mount and locks with the top latch. The projection is achieved by placing a lens in the front of the unit. Godox offers a choice of three lenses that let you cover a larger area with light depending on how close you need to position it. The lens in the front of the fixture telescopes in and out to focus the light circle. Once in position, use the thumb screw to lock it in place. There is a secondary telescoping section with a thumb screw lock to further control the light shape. Here is a look at the mesh modifiers and how they affect the light beam. The wide mesh reduces the light intensity from 3720 lux to 2200 lux and the tight mesh limits the intensity to 2110 lux. Stacked together, the two mesh modifiers limit the intensity to 1240 lux. In conclusion, the S60 is a quality light with powerful output and great portability. Coupled with the projection attachment, it becomes a versatile specialty light with a lot of creative lighting control. We would love to see a future remake of this accessory though, a better designed unit that's easier to use and with tools for more precise control of the light beam. One suggestion that we have is adding a focus ring on the lens and implementing a drop-in system for gobos, similar to a behind-the-lens ND filter system. In all, we feel that the effects that are possible with the help of this projection attachment are what's most important, so we find it very useful. As for pricing, the S60 sells for $330, the Bones mount adapter is $40, and the projection attachment with light shaping tools is around $150, depending on what you want included in the set. And that is it for our look at the projection attachment on this Godox S60 light. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Hello, guys. The Godox light with... Come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>